Hello everyone, in this video, we're going to talk about the legendary Grandmaster, Bent Larsen. Bent Larsen was a Danish chess player who was born on March 4, 1935, in Tilstead, Denmark. He started playing chess at a young age and quickly showed a natural talent for the game. In 1954, Larsen won the Danish chess championship for the first time, and he went on to win it a total of six times. He also competed in the interzonal tournament multiple times, which qualified him to compete in the candidates tournament. Larsen is known for his unorthodox and aggressive playing style, which often caught his opponents off guard. He was particularly skilled in the opening and was known for his ability to create complications and imbalances on the board. Tournament in Seuss, Tunisia. This victory qualified him for the candidates tournament, which he went on to win in 1971, earning him the right to challenge Boris Spassky for the World Chess Championship. However, Larson lost the match to Spassky, and he never again had a chance to compete for the world title. Despite this setback, Larson continued to play competitive chess at a high level, and he remained a respected and beloved figure in the chess world. Larson's personal life was marked by tragedy when his wife died in 1970. This event had a profound impact on him, and he struggled with depression and alcoholism for many years. In 1998, Larson suffered a stroke, which left him partially paralyzed and unable to play competitive chess. He passed away on September 9, 2010, at the age of 75. Larson's legacy continues to live on, and he is remembered as one of the greatest chess players of all time. His unique playing style and contributions to chess theory have inspired generations of players and helped to popularize the game around the world. So that's the brief history of Bent Larson. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Time2Chess for more interesting content. Thanks for watching.